Welcome to Cycle One, week 14. No, we're on week 15. All right, I'm rocking through this. Week 15, science experiments. This week, we also have two. We have sinkers and prints. You're gonna wanna start sinkers first and then do prints and then finish back up with sinkers. Sinkers is definitely just a demonstration. Prints is an individual student experiment. That one you won't want to run as a demonstration, I don't think, um, although you might, and that way the parents could, could definitely help, so I'll leave that to you to decide based on what we cover in our tutor meeting. Okay, I did not get water. I need to go get water. So um, let's talk a little bit about um, sinkers. So in week 15, we're going to be talking about how plaster or deposits form. Now, we in California had the opportunity to talk to our kids about the California gold rush and panning for gold, which is really um, something fun and I think most of our kids have had an opportunity to do. And the plaster ore is um, the type of ore that is in a stream that you would pan for. That's plaster ore. And we are going to demonstrate how that sinks. What are we going to have? We are going to have a um, mason jar with a lid, and we will have soil and paper clips. I will have a container of soil for you. We will have some paper clips here, and we will do this in room eight. So we fill this halfway up with water. We will do this in room eight, and we will just take this, and we'll have a magnet where we'll pull out the paper clips, and then we'll just dump this out into the flower pots so they can get some extra soil and water, and that'll be just fine. This soil is not clean soil. I pulled it out of the bottom of one of my dead plants, so there's some roots in there, so it won't be quite as pretty, but it'll be fine for demonstration purpose today. We're gonna pour our soil in. We're gonna put our heavy paper clips in and close it. Shake vigorously, and it does not take five minutes to see the paper clips fall to the bottom. They are already there. Um, that was a half a cup of soil and way too much because you really can't see the bottom. So I think I will use light colored paper clips, either metal ones. The ones that I had were blue coated. So I'll either use um, regular metal paper clips or a lighter color of plastic coating so that you can see them through the dirt. I remember that from uh, four years ago, last time around in cycle one that we could see them at the bottom. So we'll make sure to do that. Ooh, messy, messy, messy. All right, and you're gonna let that sit for five minutes or so, actually just until you finish the next experiment, which is really Okay, so my battery died. All right, week 14, prints. The second experiment, I would never use plaster of Paris at home. It always has seemed intimidating to me, but um, CC is the equipper of all parents. So we get to equip ourselves and we get to equip parents to use plaster of Paris. It is not so scary. It is messy sometimes. The most important thing about plaster of Paris, the most, most important thing, do you know? Cannot go down the drain. It must get thrown in the garbage. Nothing goes down the drain at all. So make sure that goes in the garbage. We will have hand wipes to wipe off any um, crumbs from the hand, it dries really, really quickly, so we should be able to get all those crumbs off and then wash hands, but we want to make sure none, zero zip zilch, goes down the drain, because, for obvious reasons, right? Okay, so we have a um, ball of modeling clay. We're gonna have one of these per student, and they will each have a shell, and we're gonna take a little Vaseline and put it on the shell. We don't wanna to put too thick of a coat that the Vaseline gets into the grooves and prevents the grooves from making an impression in the clay. So it needs to be a light coating of Vaseline. 
and we are going to make sure our clay is large enough for our shell and then we are going to press our shell into the clay and press our clay around the shell. There we go. Can you see that? So it's really, it's really tucked in there. And then we'll just pop that open a little bit. Pull the shell out, which is nice and easy thanks to that Vaseline. Is it perfect? No. Is that okay? Absolutely. Okay. We are going to mix our plaster of Paris. Oh, the other thing that's really important is you do not want to inhale or ingest plaster of Paris. So um, this is not for children to do. This is not for students to do. This is definitely for adults to do. If you have younger siblings, um, toddlers that are in your class um, alongside with the parents, make sure the parents put them away um, in a different spot than where we're going to be doing this plaster of Paris station because we definitely do not want this getting spilled and getting everywhere. Okay, so the instructions are four spoons of plaster of Paris to two spoons of water and that actually is a really great mixture. You want it to be about pancake batter consistency. So, um, and this four spoons of this will do definitely more than one shell. So I'm only going to do two spoons because I just have one shell. And then a spoon of water. Here we go. Spoon of water. Again, rough. We're not baking. It's okay. Rough amount. Mm, this is still, this is a little bit thick, but it, it works all right. Here we go. Let me show you. So that's definitely thicker than pancake batter. That's, there we go. Thicker than pancake batter. And the thicker it is, the faster it sets. So you might, um, or at least the thicker it is, the faster it sets up in your cup, like it, the harder it is to, to, um, to spoon in and use. So um, if you make a larger batch, you might wanna thin it out just a tad. Oops, that's probably too much now, but that's all right. Yep, that was a little too much. That's definitely nice and watery. Mix it so that it's not so clumpy. Just stir that around. Let me show you what that little extra did there. Definitely more runny. And that's just fine. So you're going to spoon that with our plate. Use our plate or clay and spoon that into the mold. There we go. Perfect. That's it. Super easy. Done. You can see I still have a lot left. Um, so I think two spoons of plaster will do two students. So one spoon of plaster for each student. You might want to have um, two stations. If you have um, enough parent helpers, to run two stations of the plaster, that would be great. They can do um, four spoons of plaster, two spoons of water, and they should be able to get through four students. Um, and then everybody's can sit and dry. You can show, we can show pictures of fossils, continue to talk about fossils. It says it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for it to harden. So we might wanna write the student's name on the plate and take the plates into class unless we do this in the family life center i might move this into the family life center depending on what um art we have going on week 15. i'll let you know um but we will still just we can either put this outside if it's not raining or in the hallway so they can dry and then after they dry the students can take uh can take it home i will have hmm I should have enough clay for each student to have their own clay mold, but if we start running out of clay, we'll let the earlier classes know and they can pop theirs out and the students can take them home. We'll have students all bring a baggie from home so um, their, their fossilized piece does not get broken. Our shells are just a, just a, you know, there's some bigger ones, some smaller ones. 
and have this particular shape and a teeny tiny one. So the students can pick their one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine of them. The students can pick their shells and they can obviously use the same shell as another student by just waiting for that student to finish their impression and um, then, doing, then doing their impression after that. Clean up. How to clean up. So first, you can leave the plaster of Paris spoon in the plaster of Paris and put the lid sort of on it like that. If there's any dusting, crumbs, what have you, we'll have this on newspaper, so it might not be a problem, but if you see any on the table or on the floor, please do clean that up right away. Um, the leftover plaster from the cups, just toss it right in the garbage. Toss the cup and the spoon right into the trash. We do not need to keep those. We'll have um, enough for each class to use. We'll have two for each class. And the clay, again, your students can hold on to that until their thing is dry. We actually will probably only have one thing of Vaseline, so you'll just have a parent go around and put the Vaseline on the shell, or each student can do it themselves. We'll have baby wipes in there. And I think that's it. Oh, goodness, we need to finish our last experiment. So then you will hopefully look at the bottom and see how the paper clips have sunk to the bottom of the of the container but there was so much soil in there i think i used a half a cup of soil and i think for this size of container we really just need a fourth of a cup of soil five paper clips that are either metal or lightly um, with a light um, coating on them so you can see it through through the um, through the water and the soil and you should be good all right ladies see you friday